Hello. Hello. It's Empress Jennifer. Again. November 20, 2024. At uh, 2.51 p.m. Well, it's a little cloudy, overcast, and then the sun popped out. What's up, Yahshua? My Redeemer, my Strength, my Waymaker, the one who is the author and finisher of my fate, into whom I shall fear. Now, something spirit about this regime of tyranny of what we call government. Now, I know some of us, most of us have saw the movie or the movie's Purge, right? <laughs> I think I mentioned it before on one of my channels that I did have, you know, but of course, a lot of you don't like my voice of truth, but I DC. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Purge, where the government in the movie allow people to purge, get their frustrations off, right? Mm. But did you know that that movie was not just a movie? No, it's not. In my case, no, it's not. It, it is very much going on. It's not going on where you're sit, watch, think, and look, listen, learn, and look at the activities that's going on around you and what's going on in politics, politics, yeah, not politics, politics, but anyway, mm. well, you know now my family the family that I knew as family, which ain't my family, are attacking me with other minions. But as you know, it always has to be, I mean, based upon the movies that we have seen, when you have gangs or what have you, the mob, they always had to have some type of law official or officials incorporated and they ish, okay? So therefore, purging, the movie Purges is really going on, really. Isn't that right, Attorney General Ashley Moody? Right, are you trying to unalive me because you don't want to go to prison for the dirty deeds you're doing? Is that not correct, Governor DeSantis? Why you're trying to unalive me for the dirty deeds that you're doing? Yeah. You know, when people go to a judicial system for a legal matter, which is supposed to be there to protect you if you are in the upright like I am, unlike yourselves, who's supposed to administer, uphold the law, not be trying to fudge paperwork to end indict somebody who's not guilty like myself and again this is empress i am jennifer the one and only not no copycat that's out here on the internet or wherever you at being allowed to do such things because of these people who sit in the seat of power who is going to get wiped out by the end of the year, if not before. Thank you, ancestors, my beloved ancestors who are protecting and fighting for me on a daily basis because I'm being attacked on a daily basis by this regime we call government. Just as some of you other people are, you know, all these homeless people, it's not, um, I do not believe that 
every homeless people out every homeless person out here was is out here because they have a drug habit or what have you i believe some of you have done what you did to me you have done to them and they just don't recognize it yet like i said people when certain movies pop out take heed to it i know one time if not if it's not currently on there still you know the cdc got you know uh something about zombies hmm it's zombies in our government because you're not thinking worth a damn if you thought your secret was gonna be so secret I love me. I DC if you don't love me. My heavenly creator loves me. And he assures me that if I dwell in his dwelling place and seek refuge in Yahshua, I will be safe. And I stand on that today after all you have allowed that you are currently doing trying to unalive me and yet I still stand and at the sound of my voice I know you cringe the gnashing of the teeth of my enemies that will be defeated you work for Satan you are a defeated foe even if my body left here my spirit will never leave here till you are defeated And yet, I still walk in the spirit of forgiveness, although you have not asked for it, and you probably are not worthy of it, but because Yahshua say, forgive, I will, so that the uh, coals that you reap upon your head will be just that and not on mine. And yet I still speak truth to power. You all are despicable. You sit up there playing with people's lives. Like I said, the movie Trading Places, The Truman Show, um surviving your stupid game because you're so you're so rich that tell you just don't know how to go enjoy your money with your family and go to a park go look at a fucking bird or go look at some zoo animals and stop being the animal who's supposed to say that that is not right that that young man or that young woman rob that elderly person or even that young person doesn't matter what age it is whatever the wrong that was done you're supposed to look at it and judge it correctly but you cannot do that because you yourself need to be judged now june of 2024 ashley moody i contacted you about a situation but I know now why you have not responded because you are part of my problem. I hear you. You're calling me a bitch right now. That might be. But guess what? You are the bigger one when you sit up there in office and don't do your job, but instead you allow forged paperwork from a little family, the family that I grew up with, to continue to harass me, go ahead and throw paper around in, your, in the court system that's supposed to protect and serve and pass righteous judgment, not do it for whom you like or whom you deem well we'll let them go ahead and slide on through and like that ex of mine john henry williams 
Rockledge Police Department when you were told that this man tried to infect me with HIV, but yet you didn't arrest him or reprimand him. But as I know it, it is against the law to willingly, knowingly try to sleep with someone and give them a incurable disease. And yet this man and y'all little sick coven have infected many of you, not excluding the uh, retarded brother that I used to live with who probably already had HIV. But yet he was also sleeping with John so they could, you know, join in because they both infected with that bu bull crap unbeknownst to me, but I believe that was going on since I now know that he also liked to sleep with men. And again, you sit up here and let this man just run wild, go in the courtroom and perjure and slander and defame my good character. This person who makes less than $500 a month at the hands of you people who sit in high places trying to destroy a decent person like myself i believe i can sit in your office and do a better job because i will judge fairly and i don't have to go to a college to do it because undoubtedly uh the books have um it must have hit y'all upside the head instead of telling y'all oh you are learning something that will be a an, an empowerment to embatter communities and make people wholesome not create monsters because you're a monster and you have money to have uh different things fly above my head as if it is intimidating to me like i said you have already pushed me up against the wall so when i speak to you i'm speaking my truth and i don't give a damn if you like it or not because i am unsatisfied with what you are doing to me and how long this bullcrap is continuing to go on if you will come on the street where I am, I tell you to your face. But now I have to resort to your ear. When you act respectful, you get it. But when the people really find out who you truly are, and now, you know, hopefully they will do that, be decently and orderly. Look at every case you have ever did before you even stepped in those positions because most of you were attorneys. And I'm talking to you dirty attorneys who also are working against me in this case and you medical professionals who people come to you for medical treatment and help to uh, be healed. But, you know, me, I just prefer to seek other methods because you know it is what it is however some things you do have to come to a doctor for and yet you all sit up there and use your medical profession to harm people because you want to be um promoted you want to go on that vacation yeah, most of the time, people, when you see people going in that medical office with those uh, promoting, uh, sell this drug, you know, the doctor is getting a promotion. He's either getting some money or he's getting a vacation or he's getting both to promote a drug that is harming your body. Anyway, that's another voice for a fight that is against the human life if you just stop messing with the F-O-O-D and the W-A-T-E-R -T -T -E people will be just fine other than natural things that transpire in our life like aging or whatever because we know that at some point we are going to meet um, our uh, 
point of destiny where it ends and we return back to the dust. But for you to sit up there and play games with people's lives on a daily basis and think that it's funny, people, I'm speaking to the masses now and to my haters, because you're so rich, you don't know what else to do with your time and your heart is so twisted and your mind is demented. No, your mind is twisted. 